Hi guys, today we will feature peely nuts. Peely nuts, this one, this one. Okay? So, a while ago, uh, it just arrived. I ordered it online. And uh, apart from the information that I had it as my experience when I was a child, we used to collect this in the province at the neighbors and they have tree lots of trees of this one and we used to collect this every morning and we enjoy the flavor because the peeling nuts is so good and then so we usually do it with uh, what they call this a hammer so I hammered them a while ago and this is how it looked like and then oops so this is very slippery see very slippery because it's fresh so I keep the peel because they said it's good so they said it's good for shrimp paste or with a fermented fish or soy sauce and the native lemon we call it calamansi so that's what I did for like a lot a while ago. This is only like one fourth of it. And I keep some of the good peel. Let's see how does it look like when I boil them. And then the issue is I can't continue doing that because I live in the building. And the tenants here doesn't really like the noise of me hammering so the security guard of the building said he's from Bicol so he knew what to do so he cut them in half like this cut them in half like that so now what I need to do is use this knife Ta -da! and you need to poke them like this you need to poke them like that there it dropped here so I keep this so I plan to boil them later and I want to try for the first time the peel how does it look to taste like so say you see it's pulling up there so I like them fresh I love the flavor because they're so fresh so I just just eat it this way but others want to make it candy with sugar so I'm not really a fan of sugar so that's why so I just keep peeling this I keep poking them to sometimes they crash but I don't really know how do they made it because I'm not from Bicol Bicol is in the middle part of Philippines it's an island where this peely is probably came from I don't know I bought it online so shout out to the seller it's really fresh and good ones that I been expecting it the way it should be and it's so good so now I boil some water I'll show you what I've done so since I've been boiling water before I did this video, oh, sorry. So I think that's enough water, or I need to add more. I don't know. So let's try. Because they said it should have been in this one. So they said if it's already soft then it's good and then let's collect the one we had on the bowl this one and then let's put this let's say let's mix them Them. 
So now, let's see. This seems soft already. See the spoon? So let's try to move them in here. And let them fall down. How does it taste? And now we get this calamansi. It's lemon, native lemon in Philippines. So you cut them like this, cut them in half. Then I put them in this bowl. As you already have, squeeze them. Then let's add some soy sauce. Okay, there's some calamansi like this one. So then I already cut it. This is the juice. Then you just add a little bit of toyo. This is soy sauce. Then you mix it. And that's it. Let's try our boiled kili. Kiao. Okay, after boiling it, it's here. So, let's try this. The one I peel, I peel the pili using, um, it's hot. Um, a hammer and then the one with still have its skull or shell so let's get our calamansi guys let's try this it's still hot but I think it's good to eat it hot but they said you, re you need to remove this black peel so the one is edible is just that let's see if I use this knife that way, let's try that. Mm, they keep telling me it's good, so I have no idea. And then let's dip it on the soy sauce. It tastes like sweet potato. It really tastes like sweet potato with this one. Um, lemon and vinegar. So they said it's good with rice. So let's, oh, this one is a little bit tough. So this one, let's, we need to choose something warmer. But it's got this, um, flavor that's really not never had before so they said if it's soft it's good so they said peel it i saw the video that this guy is just peeling it like up like that up and then he said remove this one so i used this tiny knife to remove this peel because they said remove the black and just eat the meat in it so it's kind of you know so he said push it up that way like that it's like a smashed potato you know and then he said it's also get all good with bagoong but I think I only have fish bagoong but I only have soy sauce and lemon, I think. So let's dip that. And then he said, use your hands with this rice. So let's try adding this to the rice. They said it's good with the rice. It's just like eating sweet potato with the rice. It's good experience. But... I think it's good to have it. This it is so good, but for me it's just like ordinary. But anyway, thank you, Bicolanos. I haven't tried it with bagoong, but it seems like just eating sweet potato, camote, and then bagoong. It's just like 